Okay, today what we're going to do is we're going to make coffee with a French press. It's a little bit different uh, making coffee with a French press uh, simply because the way it works. Uh, normally what you do with a, a traditional coffee maker is a drip coffee maker you run the, uh, the, the coffee through the uh, grounds. Uh, instead with French press you mix them up and steep them for a while in, inside the carafe. So uh, inside this glass container, we're going to have our coffee cooking up. It's going to sit there for a while, and uh, and it'll it'll steep uh, for four minutes. And uh, then what happens is that after four minutes, we will press it on down uh, using a special the special plunger device that comes with it. Uh, the plunger device actually has a screen and filter on it. And what it does, it filters out all the coffee grounds. We just press press it on down, and these, uh, the, you know, the screen and filter does take out all the uh, the nasties uh, uh, from our our process of, of making coffee here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, start off with this. Now you have to uh, do your coffee. You have to grind it with on coarse setting. Uh, notice I've got mine on coarse setting. I've already got some ground up here, and. Uh, You'll notice that it's a lot more coarse than regular coffee. That's okay because you need it to keep from going uh, around the screen on the French press. And for each uh, each four ounce cup of coffee that you're going to have, you're going to have to have one tablespoon or one heaping tablespoon of coffee. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to make up eight uh, four ounce cups. So I'm going to measure out eight uh, spoons of coffee. And after we have get eight eight spoons of coffee in there. Uh, then we'll go ahead and, and uh, add our water and everything. Now the important thing to remember here is that this is, a, uh, this start, is a starting guideline on the amount of coffee. You may need to add less or more depending upon your taste. Okay, so we're going to add our hot water. Now your water temperature on this should be 195 to 200 degrees. Uh, what you can do, uh, if you're like I am at a very high altitude, I'm up at 6,000 feet. So what we can do here is I can actually uh, pour the, you know, boil the water and everything. And what we got to do now is make sure we leave enough space there uh, for the uh, coffee to uh, brew and, we, and for us not to make a big mess whenever we press it down. Uh, I've seen a lot of people with things like this, they'll put the thing right at the top and of course then they'll have everything everywhere. That's not what we want. We want to worry about personal safety here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm stirring it up a little bit, give it a good mix. Uh, everybody tends to agree on with this on the French press is make sure you've stirred it up well, mix it up good. Uh, before you even start the steeping process, uh, some people put the uh, put a, lit, a, a saucer over it or something to cover to help retain some of the heat. You can also take the plunger and put the top, put it set it at the very top. Uh, you know, whatever works for you. In my case, I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm just going to go ahead and, and let it uh, uh, sit for a while. Okay, obviously the computer didn't break. We're just waiting four minutes for the coffee to brew. And uh, so you've got some time here on your hands. Uh, on the video, it's very short. It's not four minutes. I'm not going like, to make you wait that long. But while you're waiting, you could go over to my website at uh, darkroastcoffee.blogspot.com. Make sure you put the dashes in there. And uh, go to my website and see what I've got there for you. Okay, time's up. Through the magic of video, we have now uh, sat for four minutes. I'm going to reach down in here and I'm going to stir it up again, mix up my, my coffee and uh, you know, give it that last mix to make sure that I've gotten all the goodness out of there. And then what we've got to do is we've got to press it. Now, you know, carefully put in the screen and then what you do is you press it down slowly. The trick here is to press slowly. There's not a fire, there's not a big hurry, and if you press slowly you will be rewarded. If you press quickly there's a chance that some of the coffee grounds will come around the screen. But uh, my, my experience has been that if you press them down, press it down slowly you will not have this problem. Now you'll notice that my fingers are out of the way away from the spout. Uh, that's a, for safety if you have it a little bit too full. If you press it down too quickly or you slosh the pot, uh, that way you don't get that 200 degree water on you, which could really, really hurt you and give you a, uh, a really bad burn. So now that it's all the way pressed down, we now have a uh, pot of freshly pressed French press uh, coffee. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and get me a, a little bit of water or rinse out my cup. And uh, now let's uh, go ahead and see uh, what this coffee looks like. It looks like it came out real nicely. It's nice and rich and dark. You'll notice it even has a little bit of foam on top of it, kind of like the crema that you get out of an espresso machine. Uh, 
give it a taste and that's good coffee uh, I want to thank you for watching my video uh, come by my website at darkroastcoffee.blogspot.com and uh, thank you for watching again and have a good day Thank you.